Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash Show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning. I want to thank you so much for being here. This is my first guest this morning, and I have the opportunity to speak with Charlie Opler. He's the president of the National Association of Realtors. And if you live anywhere in the United States, you know those prices are going through the roof. So I got us some help over here. Charlie, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks so much for having me. Charlie, the real estate market is booming. And what I meant, the prices are going through a roof. You know, you try to bid on a house, there's 10 offers already. So how has uh, home buying changed in the past decade? Well, you must be in a slow market if you only have 10 offers. We've had others <laughs> that have said 30 and 40. But um, our whole, you know, and all real estate's local and every property is local. So I'm being a little facetious, but the demand, as you said, is, has been incredible. Um, the last 10 years, you know, the last decade, I think the biggest change is technology. Um, when, when you think about looking for a property online, the virtual pictures and the tours and the 3D, um, that's all things that have existed for quite some time. But certainly during the pandemic, we learned to utilize technology and it became more of a friend of the real estate industry than an enemy. But also the process, you can now sign a contract online with an e-signature platform. You can close on a property through a notary, uh, also with an e-signature. And you can actually apply for your mortgage online, have your documents verified, your credit approved, uh, your job uh, confirmed, and all the things that are necessary to be pre-approved for a mortgage. So technology really has allowed us to seamlessly work through the pandemic, but also uh, allow buyers and sellers to have a lot more confidence in the process because they can see the properties online, which they've had the ability to for a lot of years, but really now have utilized it um, as part of, of our real estate transaction process. Okay. So let's talk about those sellers who are getting those great prices. Mm -hmm. So what should, what should they do to stand out and what do they need to know before selling their homes? A couple of things. The sellers have to be prepared to show their property to maximize the value, declutter it, and make sure that the home or the apartment or wherever they live shows to the best of its ability. And they should work with their, their realtor to give them the tips and guide them as to some of the things that buyers are looking for uh, when they, they do begin their search. Also, um, the sellers really should allow the buyers to walk through a property uh, and certainly we've had appointment after an appointment. So to, to not be present when the showings take place, because I think that allows the buyer to work th walk through the property objectively. And then lastly, they should have an idea where they want to move because they could put their property on the market on a Friday and by Monday have multiple offers that would require them to make a decision on what offer to accept and what their next move is going to be. So that brings me to my next question. So the realtor, what are you to the, the buyer? Because I know you're selling them a home, but I see, you know, you guys playing a big, important role to the buyer. Well, uh, I think the, the realtor plays an important pro uh, part of the process for both the buyers and the sellers. Um, but for the buyers, the realtor is going to be giving them guidance on the process uh, again, making sure they're pre-approved because when a seller accepts an offer, they want to have every confidence in the world that the purchaser is able to complete the transaction. But also the, the, the realtor is going to work with the buyer to under, help them understand they need to be flexible on closing date and other conditions that the seller may put on the transaction, uh, such as the inspection clauses, um, certainly the structural part of an inspection, you want to make sure that you're buying something that's physically sound and not going to fall apart, but you might not have the ability to, to, to look at some of the minor issues that happen in an inspection report. So 
the realtor is going to advise the buyer to know that they're in a multiple offer situation in a very competitive market and to make their offer stand out as much as they can. Uh, and it's not just price, it's terms, condition, and everything else. I hope my audience has gained as much as I have, Charlie, from my uh, interaction with you. I've learned a lot. Where, well, can I, where can they go for more information? There's a couple of sites to visit. Number one would be homeownershipmatters.realtor. And the second site would be realtor.com slash real estate agents. And they'll get a lot of local information about the real estate industry. All right. That's for you guys in these hot markets where you want to know more. Go there and get some more information. And Charlie Oppler, thank you for being my guest on the Bounder BB Show. You made my Friday. Thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Bounder BB. I host the Bounder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.